All right, for this current video, I will help you perform long division. There are four basic steps to performing long division. First one is divide, second, multiply, third, subtract, and the fourth one, bring down. Keep in mind that you may have to repeat these steps also. And now we'll work on our first problem, 125 divided by 5. So, I want to see if the 5 can go into the 1, it doesn't. So we could put a 0 there if you want to, or you could just leave it blank. Now since we didn't divide the 1 into anything, we now use both first two numbers and divide that into the 5. So now it becomes 12 divided by 5. That can go two times. And we just completed the first step, which was divide. We now have to complete the second step, multiply. 2 times 5 is 10. Third step is subtract. So now we're going to go and subtract 12 minus 10. That will give us a 2. Then we have our fourth and final step, bring down. Bring down to 5, make it a 25. And we have to repeat. So what we're doing now is we're, we went through all four of the steps. And after bring down, we go back up to divide and start over. So now we're at 25 divided by 5. And that is 5. Then we continue. Our next step is to multiply. So we multiply the 5 that we just put up here times 5. That's 25. Our third step, remember, is to subtract. And that gives us zero remainder. There's nothing left to bring down. So we have completed our problem. So 125 divided by 5 is 25. And try another one. Two thousand one hundred twenty eight divided by seven. Okay. Again, seven can't go into two by itself. So this time, instead of just putting a zero there, I'm just going to leave it blank. So we use both numbers to see if. 7 can go into that. So can 7 go into 21? Yes. How many times? 21 divided by 7 is 3. Notice I put the 3 above the 1. That's important as far as placement goes. And I'll also help prevent errors, careless errors. Okay, so I just completed step 1, divide. What's your second step? Multiply. So 3 times 7 gives us what? 21. What's our third step? Subtract. And 21 minus 21 is of course 0. Okay, now we're at our fourth step, which is bring down. Do, do, do. Okay, now divide. Notice we're starting over again. Bring down, go back up to divide. Okay, so 2 divided by 7 is 0. 0 times 0 times 7 
is going to be 0. You can bring that down, subtract, remember subtract, bring that to 8 down, and you have 28. Now divide, because again you're starting over again after you brought it down. So 28 divided by 7 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. So that's the multiply part, then we subtract again. 0 and there's nothing left to bring down. Our remainder is 0, so we're done with that problem. 21, 2128 divided by 7 is 304. Okay, so now another thing, I'm going to use the same problem, but I'm going to show you something different, and you can compare the two. So I'm just going to do it real quickly. Okay, so at this point here, I drop down to 2, and as I said, um, 7 can't go into 2. So that's why I put a 0 up on the previous problem. But what you can do, do there, he, what you can do here is, if it were, it's going to result in a 0, you can put the 0 up there, but then you, you don't have to even do all this other work that I showed over here. You could just bring down your 8 and see how that gives you the same 28 from the other problem. Now you just divide 28 divided by 7 gives you the same 4. Multiply. That equals 0. So that way is a little bit quicker if you understand how to do it. And if you master it, I'd say definitely try this way if you can. Keep in mind that only work that you only want to do that if this results in a zero up here. Okay, well that was all I have for um, long division, I'll be posting other math videos up very shortly. So stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye.